Do you love nature? Do you enjoy exploring our world's natural heritage sites with their breathtaking views and magnificent flora and fauna? If we want to keep on admiring these sites, then we need to protect them. Because right now, they are facing many threats, most of these threats being caused by human activity. In today's video, I will share with you the different threats to the conservation of natural heritage. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Maria and I create videos related to cultural heritage and its preservation. In today's video, we will talk about natural heritage. We will first see what natural heritage means and then we learn about the main factors threatening our world's natural heritage. First, let's see what natural heritage means. We've seen in a previous video that our world's cultural heritage includes tangible heritage and intangible heritage. The tangible heritage is made up of built heritage such as historic places and sites and also natural heritage consisting of natural areas of outstanding universal values treasured for their beauty, special geological features and biodiversity. They are home to many endangered species of animals and plants and through actively engaging in the conservation of the world's natural heritage sites, we can protect all these species of animals and plants, thus preserving the beauty and the charm of our natural heritage. Now that we've seen what natural heritage means and why its preservation is so important, let's talk about the factors that are threatening its preservation. The biggest threats to our natural heritage are climate change, invasive species, and the negative impacts of tourism. Other factors threatening the safety of natural heritage and its biodiversity are man-made constructions and the exploitation of Earth's resources such as oil, gas, and mining. And another big problem is plastic pollution, and this is especially harmful for the marine biodiversity. In the future, I will make a separate video that summarizes all the different ways in which the plastic pollution is harming our planet. Let's now focus on the factors I mentioned here and see how they affect our planet. The biggest problem our planet is facing is climate change. And yes, climate change is real. And if we don't start taking this issue seriously, we will only accelerate the rate of deterioration of our world's natural heritage sites and we will start losing more and more of our planet's magnificent biodiversity. Is this what we want? The loss of our natural heritage? The loss of so many species we find on Earth? I love this planet and it makes me so sad to see how much we're harming it. Some of the sites that are strongly affected by climate change are sites that contain coral reefs and glaciers. Think about the beautiful Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Queensland, Australia. It is home to the world's largest collection of coral reef networks with hundreds of types of corals whose integrity is severely threatened by global warming. And if the coral reefs deteriorate, the lives of the thousands of types of marine species that are part of the coral reef habitat are also threatened. Let's move on from coral reefs to glaciers. Many glaciers around the world are also threatened by the global warming. The increasing temperatures could lead to the disappearance of some of these glaciers by the end of this century. With the melting of the ice from glaciers, we will see an increase in the sea level and this will affect the coastline with severe consequences on the world's economy and could even give rise to a humanitarian crisis. It's like starting a chain reaction, it would be better if we could stop it before it's too late. These are only some of the effects of climate change on our planet. In future videos, we will discuss more about climate change and its effects on our planet. So if you don't want to miss those videos, hit the subscribe and the bell button to get notified when I upload new videos. Moving on to the next big threat to natural heritage, the invasive alien species. These can be species of plants or animals or other organisms that are not native to a certain place. Whether they got there by accident, maybe through shipping and tourism, or they were deliberately introduced to that area as a temporary solution to a problem, they do not belong there and they can be very harmful to our world's natural heritage. 
Their presence in an ecosystem where they do not belong can disrupt the natural balance of the species native to that ecosystem and can even lead to the extinction of the native species. Speaking of invasive species threatening our natural heritage, let's talk more about human activity and see how we as a species are threatening nature. So the next human-induced danger to our natural heritage is the building of infrastructure. As we construct more and more roads, dams and buildings, we disrupt the natural balance of an ecosystem. This leads to habitat fragmentation, which has severe consequences on the biodiversity by reducing the contact between populations of species. This makes it more difficult for the different species to survive in an environment that feels alien to them. This kind of threats to biodiversity are also coming from the exploitation of natural resources, mining and gas and oil extraction. Since we're talking about natural resources, we should also mention another threat, one derived from these resources, and that is plastics. The plastic pollution poses a serious threat to the biodiversity of the marine environment. We've all seen images of plastics washed out to the shore and fish swimming among plastics, and I'm sure many of us have seen that heartbreaking video of the turtle with the plastic straw stuck in its nose. How sad is that? And that's not all. The damages continue when the plastic breaks down into microplastics, threatening the lives of the sea creatures ingesting those particles. Let me know in the comments below the video if you know of any examples of how plastic pollution is harming our environment. The last thing I want to mention in this video relates to the consequences of tourism. I left this one for the end because tourism activities can be related to all the factors I mentioned before. While tourism is great for the economy of a country and is useful in creating cultural links between people, it also poses threat to our world heritage sites through all these different factors that I discussed in this video. Our travels to the sites lead to CO2 emissions and these carbon dioxide emissions then contribute to climate change. Our presence at natural sites has similar effects to the introduction of invasive species and requires the building of additional infrastructure to support all the tourists visiting a site. And finally, the plastic pollutions that we leave behind can be very detrimental to that site. One example that I want to mention here is the plastic pollution of Rapa Nui, or Easter Island. A small island in the middle of the Pacific, far off the coast of Chile, Rapa Nui is the home of the famous Moai statues. But because it is so famous and so many tourists visit the island to admire the Moai, the island is now battling severe plastic pollution left behind by tourists visiting the island. If we create these problems, we also need to work on creating solutions for them. And in future videos, I will discuss also solutions to these problems. I've summarized in this video some of the main threats to our world's natural heritage. They are many and they pose big challenges. But that doesn't mean we're doomed. There are many actions that we can take against these threats. This is our planet, our heritage, and we need to protect it. We need to act before it's too late. Until Elon Musk manages to colonize Mars, this is our home. And even after we colonize other planets, this will still be our home if we know how to protect it. It's up to each of us to take action, to play our parts in protecting our planet, whether it's from climate change, plastic pollution, or exploitation of Earth's natural resources. We have to consider the effects of our actions on the planet we call home. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it interesting to learn about the different factors that are affecting our world's natural heritage. Thinking about it helps us be more mindful about our own actions and helps us be more careful so that our actions don't harm our natural heritage and its biodiversity. Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in future videos when we'll continue to talk about these topics because protecting our world heritage and all of our planet is not something that we do only to admire beautiful sights.
We do it so that we ensure that our future generations, our children, grandchildren, and many generations to come after them, they have a habitable planet that they can call home. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.